I think the referee stopped the fight. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Because he, you know, he jumped in be, behind. Uh, yeah. He jumped in between us and uh, show show with uh, both hands this move. And I understand that we can stop. That's why I celebrate. Yeah, I saw you run to the run to the corner. I I've never seen any of that before, so it was a surprise to both of us. Um, but congratulations on your fight. Thank you. nice, nice way to clean them up out there. Ramirez, that was a pretty impressive fight for you. What's next, and how do you continue to develop your uh, that tenacity that you showed today? Uh, I want to go back to the gym, training hard, and I went back with my promoter, and let's see what uh, was the, the next for me and, and the best. Yeah. Uh, Ramirez, uh, the general in English, sorry. Um, just kidding. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, there's two there's two great fights out here for the um, with Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders potentially a super middleweight. Would you like to have those two fights? Callum is here or was here tonight? I would like to fight the, the best fighter in the world, and that's what I want to. Do you think Callum is the number one? Yeah, no, Saunders is the number one. But he's ranked number one, isn't he? Yeah, he's. So why aren't you calling him out? Yeah, but uh, uh, let's see. Let's see who's the number one. Can I just ask Lomachenko, uh, Loma, just to let you know, um, Anthony Corolla has not gone to hospital. The nose is okay, but he's just very sad that he lost to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, three guys for you to fight at right weight. Mike Garcia. Guy Mike, three guys, yeah. Mikey Garcia, <laughs> Teofimo Lopez, yeah, and Luke Campbell. Who is the most difficult in what order? I think, I think uh, most harder it will be uh, Campbell, second place it's Mikey, and uh, <laughs> and, and second Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Yeah. Thank you. Basim, first of all, congratulations on your win. Uh, you called out Mikey. Have you and, and Bob talked about it, about fighting Mikey? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, right after, after the fight. Bob, your thoughts? That was a good fight. Well, you, you understand, the man just went up to 147 pounds. Loma, myself, understand boxing. If you go up and you fight at 147 pounds, it is extraordinarily difficult to come down to 135 pounds. That's not to say it's not possible. So it's up to Mikey. Can Mikey come down to 135 pounds, defend his title against Loma's two titles? That's up to Mikey. I can't talk to it. All I know is from my experience, that it is a very difficult thing to do. That's all I can say. Can he do it? Well, isn't that up to him and up to his nutritionist and so forth? I don't know. Loma, BoxingBoys.com. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I have a question, but I see the cut. Do you feel fine? with Where did that come from? Do you really know? Yeah, it was uh, in, in uh, last Fifth round, fourth round, uh, there was a head, and the head was a head. Okay. Uh, my question to you is, uh, obviously you called out Mikey Garcia after the fight, but earlier in the week you mentioned Javante Davis, and you mentioned how you would fight him for free. Obviously we know, you know, you wouldn't actually fight him for free, but what are your thoughts on Javante Davis and a possible matchup? Because many people- Ask are... Floyd Mayweather. He said the kid isn't ready yet for the fight. Floyd Mayweather is his promoter. Floyd Mayweather, if anybody junior, knows about boxing. The question of whether Giovanni Davis is ready to fight a master like Loma should be put to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Let him answer that question. But don't ask stupid stuff about Giovanni Davis when his promoter says he's not ready. But you know, I think Javante Davis, he's best of the best uh, fighter on the Twitter. 
Good evening, gentlemen. I want to just now, I want to make a special announcement now because you see at the table there's uh, the pride of Japan, Asaya Ito, the 130 pound world champion who will be defending his title uh, on ESPN uh, in Orlando uh, against the fighting Marine, Jamal Herring. Uh, that's May 25. And we're proud to say at top rank that we have signed a promotional contract, a uh, co-promotional contract, because he also has uh, my great friend Anderson uh, of Taiken Promotions, 